previously on the Sailing Brothers. It's funneling through these two islands, causing a bit of an acceleration zone. It's incredible. Oh, they look bad, don't they? Yeah. Oh. This week on the Sailing Brothers. How will it look? Absolutely howling. Finally got a weather window to Bundaberg, Australia. Go to Australia! We're having doubts, aren't we? Sunning doesn't feel right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're moving back to the mainland. <laughs> moving today. We're moving away from the Black Sand Beach. Hellhole. <laughs> this beautiful, beautiful area. Oh, God. Uh, here's the rocks over there. I jumped off and uh, hurt myself. Brilliant. <laughs> We're moving 10 miles back down this island to Looney, Looney Beach. If you remember where we anchored in Looney Beach, we found it on Google Maps. We're going back there and then we're going to prepare to go back again to um, Pala, Palakello. Was it Palakello Bay? Yeah, I think so. Because we're going to go from there to Australia. So we need to go back and sort some things out and wait for a weather window. So it's going to be a sail slash motor three hours to Looney It's going to be a sail of your lifetime today. And this is a brand new t-shirt I bought in Fiji. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. But what about your legs, Ed? Well, yeah. We're moving because of having legs as Legs well. are getting better. Starting to heal. I think they are. They are definitely healing. So, you yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah, look. Do you reckon, do you? Nothing on there now. <laughs> it's still pretty knackered, but they're definitely healing. I'm going to try and sail away from this anchorage now. There's so... the wind is all over the place here. Tomorrow's calming down. Been blowing near gale conditions for about three days. Looks like this looks maybe lucky and get five miles of clean wind blowing this way. Big gusts coming down from this bit. Got all the Facebook comments look. Especially. Gotta go down there and around there somewhere, so we're hoping it's not gonna be windy over there, but uh, it's very windy here. So that anchorage is bad, look, we'll have to just cross, but no choice. So going about five miles in, and it's still racing around the island, as you can see behind me meant to be a southeasterly. It should be blowing that way. It's, it's curling around this island bad. Have we made a mistake? Yeah, if there's not shelter down this end of the island, I don't know what we're gonna do. Well, we'll have to cross to the bay over there, but it means getting over there in the middle of the night and it's really, really windy out there. We'll see, I'm sure it'll be fine. We've gotta get around this bend and then it sort of bends in. Three miles away from our bay now, and uh, it's not looking good. I just don't understand. It's meant to be, it's a southeast today, and uh, there's been wind all the way down this island. And the last time we came up here, there was no wind at all, so I, I don't get it. Why is this? Well, I don't know. It just seems to be coming directly from behind the wind over there. Well, that's so easterly, though. Yeah, I just don't get it. Because if you have a look. 
We're going. Uh, we're southwest. going southwest. So that wind is coming from the northeast. Yeah. We'll soon know if it's a, an a good Yangbridge in about 40 minutes. 4.1 mile Yangbridge. Just off the beach there. Um, you see by the smoke, there's no wind over there. It's completely dead. But you got all these waves making their way down from behind us. Adam's got a little bit of hope in his face now. Definitely flattened here. There's one was up there. There was. For half a mile. Okay. 52 meters of depth. Anchor. Yeah, I'm happy with this. It's a little bit hobby horsey, but it's fine. Got 41 meters of delicious eight mil short link galvanized chain down. God, there's no guarantee we'll be staying now, is there? No, if we picks up, we'll be going. We'll be going, but it looks well. It's be okay. But look, it looks fine. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. Surprising. Isn't it? I never thought this would happen. I thought we'd be going. Look. But yeah, it's okay. It's very, very, very surprising. Well, we can have that curry after all. Oh, yes! Tonight on the anchor meal, it's going to be a beef yeah. and um, bacon. bacon curry with rice and Luke wants noodles because he's a weirdo. <laughs> so, the curry things. We can have a korma, or we can have a Josh Rogan, or we can have a butter chicken sauce. Which one do you want, Luke? Butter chicken. Butter chicken, we knew it. Moving on tomorrow, if we don't move on tonight. Yeah, I guess we We actually here. had an absolutely night. lovely yeah. night at that anchorage. The wind didn't it, pick you? up, it stayed no, calm. No. no. It actually turned out that the anchorage we picked that night was absolutely perfect. Flat calm, we woke up fresh, and the next morning we had an absolutely fantastic sail over to Luganville. Beautiful sailing, Phil. It is nice sailing conditions. It's really, really good. We always say that, beautiful sailing conditions, but it is nice sailing conditions. Yeah. <laughs> Bit wavy, but it's nice. We're flying along between five and six knots. The mast hasn't fallen down, the keel hasn't fallen off, the rudder is still there, Neffy's still working, uh, the engine hasn't fallen completely fallen off its mounts, or the diesel tank is not leaking, and um, we're doing well. Just trying to think what else is there. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst in Luganville, Adam saw a doctor to continue his treatment on his legs. Your legs are clearing up nice though, aren't they? Yeah, they're clearing up, yeah, all drying out now. Look at the back, Ed. Good. We've been waiting here for about a week, and we finally got a weather window to... Bundaberg, Australia. Go to Australia! Yeah! 1,000 miles across the open ocean! 1,000 miles, 10 day passage. Hello all. So today, is a very very big passage it's quite a special day as you may know we are in um where are we look vanuatu <laughs> this is vanuatu all this area here and we're currently tucked up just outside the town of luganville up here and tomorrow we're heading to australia we're heading to australia <laughs> So this, I put a route on the screen, it's a thousand miles to Bundaberg in Australia on the east side of Queensland, Bundaberg down here, into there. So this is windy, I'll just give you the first four or five days after that it becomes, the weather's not reliable at all. This is today at 10 o'clock, we're here. As you can see, southeasterly trades, uh, 15 to 25 gusts. Let's move on another 24 hours. 
nice southeasterly trades there, a bit lighter, nice and green. This is Friday, three days in, as you can see it goes a little bit lighter. Easterly winds, a bit lighter. Saturday, yeah, still looking good, light winds, beautiful, should be over here somewhere. Let's go one more day, Sunday. Southeasterly trades, mm. looking lovely, looking lovely. Ready? Yeah. Off to Australia, we go. Yeah. Good, good luck. luck. <laughs> What's in good luck for? Not the same boat. Oh, you're hurt. Okay. Here we go. We've been fighting a lot of tide this morning, flooding through here. It doesn't turn around till this afternoon, so we're going for it anyway. Goodbye, Vanuatu. We're going to miss you. Been absolutely wonderful. Loved Manawatu. Uh, I just feel a bit sad, really. Hello, really. Australia! <laughs> like a crabbing to starboard at quite a rate. Uh, it's too much current running in here. Just looking on the charts now, and it says up there when it gets thin, five knots of current against us, it could be so. We may have to just try and anchor somewhere. Let's wait. I think we'll have to go back where we were. Is it? Yeah, because it's 36 meters near the edge of it. So it's rocks, right? Yeah, it's really rocky. We made it to Australia! Welcome! <laughs> oh god. Take two. The it started running that way a little bit now. Bearing in mind it is three hours late. It's one o'clock in the afternoon now and we try to set off at half past nine this morning. So fingers crossed. Well I've tried with us this time, it looks like it. Uh, we shall see. Let's try again. <sighs> Take two. Bit hesitant to leave on this one. Normally, I'm really up for it, but I'm gonna miss Vanuatu like mad. It's such a nice, beautiful place, and I wish we could have spent longer here and seen more stuff. What we could have done. Wow, I just feel like turning around and going back and spending another couple of weeks there because I just miss the people. It's so nice. The people of Vanuatu are beautiful, absolutely beautiful people. I'm gonna miss this place. I just hope Australia is gonna be as nice. Oh, I'm sad to be leaving. I'm very sad to be leaving. Just approaching George's Philippa Pass here. You get five to six knots of current running through here and especially over there where it, it, the channel will squeeze together. Just turn the engine off. And now we're sailing. There's not much wind though, is there? <laughs> Eight knots. Eight knots, ten <laughs> knots. Gotta get clear of this island it's here. 20 knots. Wind's coming from over there. So as soon as we get out there a bit, we'll be all right. Just discussing how much water we got on board. <laughs> I'm in a near panic. We got three quarters of a tank. And 75 litres. And 75 litres. We've got enough for about 20 days. Oh, that's well. Yeah. But what if we get stuck in like blue? If weather changes, we get marooned, marooned, marooned for a week. We've started running out of water. We've still got enough. We have to keep, be careful. I think no. we'll start limiting ourselves now. No. And writing it down how much we're having. I know what Luke will do, he just guzzles and guzzles. I'm determined to go in there now and drink as much as I can. When we left across, across the Atlantic, we only had a certain amount of water and Luke's, the first couple of days, Luke kept saying, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty, and he was just guzzling and guzzling. He must have got, I think he was guzzling about seven litres of water a day. <laughs> I'm writing it down, you've had seven litres of water today, look. It was hot. hot. 
he just kept guzzling all the time. I always remember his, his little mouth moving, saying, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. I'm thinking, we're all going to die out here. Because he can't stop we're guzzling the water. Die. Yeah. There's one load of it there, just two of us. Uh, I don't know. The wind's gone now. Switch, switch off the engine, the wind's gone. Mm. This is going to be the story of this passage. Yeah, get used to it, isn't it? We're going when there's no trade winds. We're yeah, fools. There it is. Bloody fools. Light. Light trades. Let it be light. You made a mistake. Yeah. I would like to say, well, I would, I don't know. Vanuatu is going in the distance, but we're lacking wind at the moment, so we're doing two knots. There's meant to be 27 knots out here. <laughs> And then we've got a problem with cloud and showers, but uh, and it's really sloppy, super sloppy. So we're not going very fast. We've only just started. <laughs> we're making cold beef mash for tea with beans. Yeah, so they're quick and easy. We do 1.6 knots. So. Oh, that's bad. We're having doubts, aren't we? No. It'll be fine. We should get clear of this island and this slop current. We'll be in clear of an ocean. We're going the wrong way, though, aren't we? Not really going anywhere, to be honest. Turn back, we've turned around. This is the first time we've ever, ever done this. Cancel the passage rather than get in and go back. Something doesn't feel right. We've been saying all day to Adam, I think we should, shouldn't go, maybe we shouldn't go because the weather's not looking too good. Not because there's too much wind, it's because there's too little wind. And then we found out that the, the tank, our water tank is only half full and we've got 75 litres here so may not be short of water a little bit and then what else was there? Well we left this morning and the current was against us, yeah. we were bad, we had to turn around and go back. And then we were both feeling really tired today and then we left again and then the wind just totally dropped out to nothing and it's really choppy out here and something doesn't feel right so we're going back. It feels like we're rushing. We're rushing to leave Vanuatu. It, no it just doesn't feel right, so. I think the real reason is yesterday we tried to get cheese and we couldn't get any cheese. So basically, oh, we've got about 300 grams on board. It's not enough to do a thousand miles. So we're just going to go back. seven miles away now from the anchorage we started off in and um, I feel like we made the right decision to selling didn't feel right so we turned around and come back tomorrow we'll have to sign in again but what do you think good yeah wait for a better weather window uh, yes yeah, most important thing really Really explained it. Good night. Amazing. Fast. Back to the opening to the anchorage, less than two miles to go. A lot of tide here. Made it back, back in our original anchorage where we left from, which is so weird. I was only just talking to Luke and saying to him about. When we leave a place, I normally, I do my thing, don't I? I go, bye, so-and-so, and I turn around and go, hello, where we're we going? And 
I did that this time. I didn't get the same feelings I usually do. I usually say goodbye, and I'm saying goodbye to the country I've been to. It's silly, I know, but it's my thing. And I feel like that's it now. I'm not going to see it again. I've I've experienced it. I'm ready to let that go and move on to a new thing. But this time, it felt it felt totally different. And something in me was thinking that I I would see this place again, even though I knew we wouldn't, because we're, we're, we're sailing away from it. But here we are. We're back. Odd. What do you think, man? Weird. How do you see you? It's dark. <laughs> there he is. Weird. We're back. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably end up leaving tomorrow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I check the weather. Be better. Oh god. Yeah. Never mind. I feel like we've made the right decision, though. I do. It's... Yeah. It's it's not a failure. No. We, we didn't fail. Um, there's always going to be a better forecast. There's always tomorrow. Good. It's good. What happened is Just good. Say everything's good. Everything's good. If anything goes wrong, it's good. It is what it is. There's always something good that good that comes out of it, you know. Coming up next time, we don't know what's happening because we may be leaving Vanuatu, which has been absolutely amazing to do a thousand mile passage offshore to Australia. Oh, and if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave us a like subscribe and share it really does help us out on the also same thing every single time and the biggest thank you in the world to all our incredible support we get on patreon and ko-fi thank you so so much <laughs>